Everybody, this is Rudy Rodriguez Shomat here with Come On Now, the podcast, bringing you another edition of Rudy's Rants. It's been a minute since I've done this. The last month or so, I've been dealing with the flu, and I'm still a little bit hoarse, but there are some topics that have been popping up that I've been wanting to talk about, but I really couldn't actually talk because I had laryngitis. That said, I want to jump right into it. Recently, Angel Reese from the Chicago Sky in the WNBA did a tweet and delete. There's nothing more aggravating to me as a consumer of sports and anything for that matter than tweet and delete. If you have the courage to tweet something, to take a shot at somebody, why would you delete it? So this is what Angel Reese tweeted, and that's on getting a win in a packed arena, not just because of one player on our charter flight with a kissy sign, hashtag Skytown. Well, clearly this is a shot at, at Caitlin Clark, who is, for some reason, getting attacked on levels that are far beyond that of basketball. Caitlin Clark is a great basketball player. She is the best basketball player in the draft. That's why she was drafted number one. She's averaging 17 points and six and a half assists a game. She's fourth in the WNBA in assists right now. Has she struggled with turnovers? Absolutely. Has she struggled with physicality? Yeah, sure. Has she also seen more double teams than pretty much anyone else in the league? More than likely. And she sees them 30 feet from the basket. But I find this type of this type of thing really, really classless when you are tweeting at people that you're not even playing yet. What is the purpose of the tweet? What is the purpose of taking shots at your colleague? You don't see this type of stuff go on in the NBA. And recently, Charles Barkley had some comments about it, re- basically speaking about what LeBron James said as well. So take a look at what Charles Barkley said. Yeah. I got to give LeBron a shout out. It's something I read on Bleacher Report. I, that's the only thing I do. Uh, oh, you do? Uh, yeah, I love Bleacher, Bleacher Report. Oh, yeah. That's it. Expand your horizons. Uh, no, I don't want to know these damn idiots and fools on the internet. What he said. Yo, man. Let me look at this camera right here, 83. You women out there, go petty, man. Hey, LeBron, you 100% right on these girls hating on Caitlin Clark. Y'all petty, girls. <laughs> I expect men to be petty because we're the most insecure group in the world. Oh, you are. Y'all should be thanking that girl for getting y'all ass private charters, all the money and visibility she bring into the WNBA. Don't be petty like dudes. Listen, what she's accomplished, give her her flowers. Stop being petty, all you women out there. She got y'all ass charters. She bringing all y'all this money to the table, but y'all being petty like dudes. LeBron, you 100% right. Y'all girls, stop being petty. Kayla Clark, thank you for bringing all that money and shine to the WNBA. Well, they're going to hate you even more now. Hey, they, this, they can't do anything to me. They're going to hate you, though. Hey, they, can't, they can hate on me, hey, but they better look hate. Death but that mailman man better be in my damn house the first and the 15th sure. for, another for another year. For another year. <laughs> Now that you've seen what Charles Barkley said, do you agree with him? Because I actually don't agree with him. I don't think men are petty like that. I'm not a petty guy, so I don't I don't subscribe to that type of crap. But what I do see is I see women be very petty all the time about lots of stuff. And you're seeing it big time in the WNBA right now with this pettiness, petty, petty, petty BS, when the fact and the reality remains that Caitlin Clark is the one that's drawing eyes to the WNBA. Last night, she picked up her first win, and in large part, that happened because her teammate, Aaliyah Boston, finally played well. Aaliyah Boston was the number one pick in the draft last year, and Aaliyah Boston, the first five games of the season, had been pretty much terrible. But she played well last night, and that is what the difference was. Clark actually didn't shoot the ball all that well, but she filled the, she filled the stat box. And this is where I look at the hypocrisy of the way people view things and the the fact of the matter that it's clear as day that there's a massive racial component to this entire thing. Because Caitlin Clark had 11 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, 4 steals, and 1 block. 
And she only had two turnovers. So she's starting to clean up the turnover issue that she had earlier on this season. But the fact of the matter is, Angel Reese has eight, is averaging eight and a half rebounds a game, and five and a half of the five and a half rebounds are offensive boards, which goes back to show that most of her rebounds come off of her own misses because she's shooting 33.3% from the field. Yet she's getting praised for playing so great. So is she playing great? Why is it that when when Caitlin Clark has a bad shooting performance but has 10 rebounds, eight assists, four steals, and a block, is her performance inefficient? Shooting-wise, it was inefficient, absolutely. But she filled the stat box in a variety of areas. I think the, the nonstop attacks, it's bad enough that people in social media just do it because they have nothing else to do with their time. But when people that are in the profession are doing it because they're being salt, they're salty because someone's getting more attention than them, it's kind of pathetic. And <clears throat> whether you like it or not, the WNBA can say all day that they've been working on chartered flights for a while. Sure, they may have. But it wasn't until the eyes were put on the WNBA and the inequities that exist in the WNBA in comparison to the NBA, largely because of revenue. But the inequities that exist, like not having chartered flights, not have, playing in 4,000-seat arenas, but the 4,000-seat arenas exist because if you want to look at the attendance right now, Caitlin Clark put 19,000-plus people into the Crypto.com arena last night versus the Los Angeles Sparks. How many people were watching, I don't know, anyone else in the league? If you look at every game that she plays, the arena's full, home and road. Look at anyone else's arena, it's half empty, except for those arenas that are 4,000-seat arenas. So what are we talking about? The woman has brought eyes to your league. The woman is bringing attention to your league. And, and I'm not sitting here saying you have to kiss her ass because you don't, but you also don't have to take a shit on her just because you feel like it. You can win a game and just win a game. Instead, you win a game and you take a, you tweet something, taking a dig at her, while at the same time, then deleting it because you knew, you know, because someone told you clearly that it makes you look like trash to do that. So that's all I got for today on, on this Angel Reese topic and Caitlin Clark. I wish these women would actually come together as a, as a league and stop taking digs. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I've watched a lot of women's basketball this year. And you can see the way one person is being defended in comparison to how other people are defended. I'm not saying you should leave her wide open by any means. But there's clearly a difference in, 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 in attention to defending Clark than you see for even Diana Taurasi, who's 20 years in the league. Jewel Lloyd. Sabrina Ionescu. Like, so you, you don't see them facing the same type of double teams and triple teams and front and back, front and back screens and the things that are being done to try to physically whip her. So I'm not saying they should change what they're doing. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't do whatever it takes to win. But let's be honest with ourselves. A lot of stuff that is being done is not done to anybody else. And they're trying to make a point that you're not good enough to be here when the reality is with all that shit, she's 17 points and six assists a month into her rookie season, a month after graduating from high from college. <clears throat> so that's all I got for, that's all I got for today on this one. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think of Angel Reese tweeting and deleting? Is it cowardice? Is it weak? Is it whack? Is it pathetic? Or do you stand by bullshit like that? Let me know. Let's talk soon. Thank you for watching. Come on now. The podcast Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.